Hello viewer, welcome to Exit Explanatory Solution. This is your sincerely Esso Ajala talking on database management system. Okay, so we are now on tutorial three that is setting up forms or setting up a form. Now we have forms everywhere. We have created our database with a single table title sample table and then we have done our validation using presence check and then the range check and i entered this record what if maybe i have many fields and then i'm just typing from here to here i go to record two this is not tidy and what if i have a website and i want people to fill in forms well, I tell the first person, you click here and then you fill in the field. The second person, you come here. There will be a lot of problems with that because that means there will not be data privacy. You can see another person's data. What if your website is a sensitive website whereby one person must not see the details of another person? So that purpose will be forfeited. So how do we ensure that people fill in the required details without seeing what others have filled? That's the essence of using forms. Forms are like online questionnaires for collecting data. And we have forms everywhere. For example, this is Twitter um, homepage or where you log in page. And then your name is required here, or okay, sign up page, the phone number or email address, the password. And then when I click the sign up button, it goes into their database where you have all these fields set up. So I don't know what is in the database. I cannot see the data of other people on their database. All I can do is to fill in this form. This is a form. The same thing for Yahoo, you are making an order, maybe from a commercial website and you want to give them your specifications. Whether you like it or not, you are filling forms. So there are forms everywhere. So behind every form is a database. And before every database is a form, and we use the form to collect data. And when the data they are collected, they are populated in the database. So professionally, we will not be using data sheet view to enter our data. We will be using the form to enter data into our database. So how do we do that? Very simple. That's why it's an explanatory solution. You can work with it. Okay, so I'm going to close this table because I'll be using the table in the form do you want to save changes yes yeah thank you very much okay so i've done that don't forget in the beginning god created so whatever you want to create in microsoft access you go to the create tab now i'm creating a form and then i have form you should just create everything automatically so you can play with all these while i'm creating using form wizard a wizard will guide me step by step in performing a task. So I'm going to click on Form Wizard. I click on Form Wizard. It's loading. Then come here. Because I've just all created a single table named Sample Table, I pick the table I want there. Now, if other items you are creating will be showing inside these tables and queries, so consciously choose the right item that you want. So I'm using Sample Table. Now, these are the fields I can pick. Let's say you don't require all the fields to be in your form. You can pick them one by one. You can pick the ones you want one by one using that single arrow. And if you don't need any, you can take them back one by one. The double arrows take everything at a time. So I'll be needing all the fields in my form. So I'm going to click on a double arrow. So all the fields are selected. So I click on next. Look, I'm using columnar. You can play with others and see the way they are. Columnar. Okay, so I give my form a name here. I call it sample 
table form. Sample table form. If you open the form, it takes you to the to a view called form view. If you open modify the form design, it takes you to design view. So let's click on finish. So this is finished, it's finishing it. So this is my form now. This is my form now. So people can now use this to enter data into the database. Okay, so when you come to form, there are different views to inform. So you can come to the view here under the home tab or home menu. You can see the form view. That's where you fill in your form. You can see the layout view. That's where you arrange the content of your form. And if you do the same thing with design view, but little variations. So if I go to design view, so I can expand my form, can carry out different designs. I have different controls to play with, which I will not be using any for now. So I'm just creating a simple form for you to relate to it. I can arrange, I can expand. Maybe I feel that this may not be long enough. I can expand this, expand this here. Okay, just basically to do some design. I can space out, sir. Okay, I can space out the fields. Select and then, okay. So you can do basic design here to more advanced designs. But I'm going to do the basic for now. Then I can go to layout view. Then I can do the same thing here. So layout view shows you, okay, like this. What is the marital status? The the question mark is not showing. Okay, and in your form everything all your fields everything written there must show so to, to have a good design so i can change the color of this okay, maybe red color make it bold and expand this take, take that guy to the middle the case may be um, I can change okay I can select these fits and we change it to oh so oh you can do different things as you want to do and change this or select everything together and do it So basically to just do some some formatting to do some formatting so I can go I can also click go to different views from here so different views you can come to design and then tap other different views arrange here Control margins, narrow, medium, wide, none. So, and different alignment to the grid, right, left. So, as you just desire whatever that is good for you, you can get it done there. Okay. So different formattings can be done here and then you have your form done. Okay, so form view. So this is how it will look like on the form. And if you want to use this to enter data, you have like new record. I just come here, enter my data. Okay, maybe I say Mrs. First name. Sandra. 
सर्निंग खाली फ्राई एंड डेट ऑफ बर्थ एम जीरो टू ट्वेल्थ टू थाउजेंड एंड टू वॉट्स योर मैरिज स्टेटस आप तो पिक ऑन दिस सेड मैरिज ओके सो दैट इज डन सो लेट्स लेट्स सेव दैट क्लोज इट एंड गो टू आवर डेटाबेस टेबल यू कैन सी द सेकंड रिकॉर्ड आई एडेड इज इन द डेटाबेस ओके सो दिस फॉर्म यू कैन पुट दैट मे बी ऑन योर वेबसाइट देयर इज अ लिंक टू इट एंड पीपल विल फील इट इन एट द बैक एंड ऑफ द वेबसाइट यू कैन व्यू व्हाटएवर इंफॉर्मेशन दे हैव देयर ऑन योर डेटाबेस सो वी हैव यूज्ड दिस फॉर्म to collect data populate a database i hope you can do it now so we've looked at how to create form using a form wizard how to do some settings from layout view design view and then how to add records from form view and we have seen the effect on our database table thank you very much i'll see you in the next video good bye